What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Rogue Wizards, which is actually a pretty cool little action RPG. I think it's much more of an action RPG than it is a roguelike. Aside from the fact that when you die, you go back to town and you gotta restart, it's just an RPG. And so I thought this game would be a lot of fun. It's pretty polished, it's definitely got some cool features, and I wanted to show it off on the channel. Now, as of right now, you can't really get Rogue Wizards. It's in a closed beta state right now, like they have the page updated on Steam with all the stuff going on with the game, but you can't buy it yet, and they haven't announced a release date. However, they have said that it's going to be sometime in like April, May, June, in there. Basically, they're giving themselves a lot of time to work with just in case things go wrong, and I do appreciate that. A lot of games nowadays, they, they release way, way too early, and so I don't mind the developer taking a little bit slow to make sure that they give you a quality product once it finally releases to a major platform like Steam. Nonetheless, this is the story of a wizard that's like a bandlet, and so essentially your character is unable to do magic, and yet for some reason, the bandlet are starting to do magic after like eons of not being able to do it. And it's sort of like the, I suppose the tremors that flow through the world as that happens. There's also some like evil wizard or something, I don't know. I've left a lot of it blind because I find that the game's a lot more fun when I play it blind because then you get to see me being challenged rather than me knowing what's coming and, you know, preparing for it appropriately. Nonetheless, let's play a new game, shall we? Alright, so we get to make a new character. His name is Saleh. Let's make him... Oh, I don't know. Do they all look the same? I think they all look the same. Okay, that's fine. We'll name him Honey Buddha. There we go. I, I was going to add a last name, but it didn't look like it was going to fit, so I had to kind of cut myself off there. Welcome to the Rogue Wizards Beta. Oh, it's just a feedback report thing. Okay, well, we can move around with WASD if you really, really want to. I prefer when I'm playing to go with the mouse because it is a very, very clickable type game. As you see the world generates, like as we're walking around, everything falls in. Uh, look, instead of having like the sight lines that you typically have in roguelikes where there's like a circle of shadows or whatever, a la Project Zomboid, for example. It's not a roguelike, but it has the system that I'm talking about. Or way where we need a key to go through that door. Okay, so we're not going in that direction, unfortunately. Turning around is going to be the key to our success. So hungry. Has it been... Yeah, it's almost been two days since I've eaten. Wow, he looked like a proclamation when he opened that door. He's like, ha ah! He was excited about opening it. I don't think I've ever been that excited about opening a door in my entire life. Well, he didn't open that one with the same enthusiasm, so... There's gotta be something valuable in here. Are we, like, robbing our own house right now? Where are we? Ooh! Three dollars, hidden carefully in a cask. See, that's how you get paid. That's why all of us are so broke right now. We don't break enough casks. Gotta go bust into a winery and just start breaking some barrels and watch all the rupees fall out. A chest. Thank the elements. Do we have a key? Oh, what is that? This is an item. Tap it to pick it up. Gimme! If you are reading this scroll, you know, or know that it has found you for a reason. Yours is a trial by fire. I am sorry I cannot be more gentle. This scroll has now bound you to your task. Have faith you are capable of more than you realize. That would be deeply upsetting if I picked up just a random book in my house and then got teleported. What? Where am I? Well, we're gonna break- ooh. These are worth good money. Tap your backpack to open your inventory. Drop armor in the slots around your avatar. Yep. Makes sense. Combat statistics are based on what weapons and armor you have equipped. Very, very simple. I love the UI. Everything looks pretty and clean and a little bit fantasy-like. I like it. The backpack is a handy place to store any items you find in your adventures. Yeah, I was thinking about using my backpack, you know, for navigation or maybe as a map by drawing on it, but I think storing things in it might be a smart idea, too. Normally, I just keep my extra loot in my butt because that's the simplest place to put it. That thing needs a key. Let's go break some of these things right here. Ooh, he shouts when he breaks. He's like, ah! He gets all scally. Ooh, there's one right there. Yeah, we got a key. Let's bring this thing back on over here. Open! So we got 200 XP, and we got $6. It seems like a rather ornate chest to hide $6 in. It just seems like a lot of effort to go to. What is this? Materials can be used to craft items. Okay, so we can make crimson ash, terrestrial. I thought that said terrestrial shit for a second. I was like, mm, I make that already. I don't. I don't need a. I don't need a cauldron for that. Sorry, it's just part of the biological process. I'm not trying to be dirty. I'm not trying to be nitpicky. Oh shit! These swords indicate combat mode. In combat mode, actions occur one at a time. 
Okay. That all seems to be fairly standard. I'm gonna whack some weak ass skeletons. This skeleton's weak, bruh. Ooh, we got a shield. And we can click on ourselves, I think. Or we can press the space bar. There we go. We can press the space bar to skip a turn. Oh, we blocked that shit. Yeah, son. I like the way the items are added to the character right there. I wonder if that's going to work with armor, too. Ugh. You don't want to stab me. I mean, obviously you do because you just tried, but... It looks like if we're auto-equipping, it does not. So what are these? Common leather boots, rank 1 of 6. It looks like they level up, maybe. As you wear them longer and longer and longer, they, like, generate... Well, my other gear's not doing it, but that one's 2 of 7. It's got a 5% block chance, and it gives us extra stamina. What does my shirt do? 9% to next rank. Oh, okay. So maybe when you get hit, it, like, cycles your armor to generate where you got hit to determine whether or not you get mastery? I don't know. Ow, I got jumped. I came around the corner, and he was waiting there with a shiv to take me out prison yard style. It's rough down here in the skeleton world. I don't... Oh, he's looting the dungeon, too. That's not okay. Oh, we need to fight back here. I don't think he's going to fall for it. He's waiting in ambush for us. I'm going to get him, though. Hey, man, his weird little head tuft. He's like, whoa. Whoa, man. Don't be culturally insensitive. This is what we skeletons wear to denote, like, our position in skeleton society. We don't have any skin or faces or anything like that. And if you don't have a top knot, you're not one of us. It is the top knot, after all. We've got a chess piece. What is that right there? The Blessed Tunic, and it's rare. 12 and special item find 3. Oh, so they got that Diablo-esque vibe going on. We're going to stack that magic find so we can get ourselves paid and get all those good shinies. A couple another pair, another pair of leather boots. I was going to say, a couple of boots on the floor, but wouldn't all boots come in pairs unless it's a totally worthless dungeon? Stab this guy. I really wish that we had enough strength to kill those guys in one swipe. It would make my life happier. Who is this dapper looking gentleman? Oh, he's got a bow. How come we all have the same wardrobe options? Do we shop at the same places? I think we must. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Continue shooting. Do whatever you want to do. Yeah, whittle him down so I can one-shot him when he gets here. All enemies slain. Plus 364. Oh, we completed the dungeon. Okay. Hello, who are you? I'm Palum, and I've been waiting for you. It took you long enough to get here. Wait, what? You know who I am? Not specifically, but I know a magic scroll brought you here because we need you. That's pretty specific. That's pretty specific, man. Like when somebody arrives at like the DMV, I'm not just like a magic scroll brought you here. I figure I don't know, maybe you drove here or something. That's vaguely specific. Who's we? No time for questions. We need to fight our way back to the portal. You learn more when we're safe. Apparently, we are unsafe, and I had no. I don't know if I should go that way or if I should go down into the dungeon further. Hell yeah, to send the stairs. I ain't afraid of no dungeon. Palum's with me. He's got his medieval gat. He's going to protect me. I'd feel better if he had a beard, though. No lie. I I'd feel better if he had a beard. He's not going to, like, steal my shit, is he? Wow, there are a lot of... Wait, what is that right there? That looks like a spell book. A new spell has been activated. The fireball. Okay. So hurl a ball of fire, dealing 39 fire damage with a 75% chance to ignite the target and burn 25% of their health. For three turns. It requires three crimson ash. And it looks like... How many do I have? I have 30. So I can cast it ten times. So there it is right there. Alright. Well, let's play around with the spell then. Our hand is glowing suspiciously. Ooh. Did you see that? I just used magic. Yep. But I'm a bandlet. I thought we couldn't do magic. If you didn't have powerful abilities, that scroll wouldn't have bound you. Bound? I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, it's definitely got an s &M vibe that I'm not sure that I'm prepared for right now. I'm a little bit tired for that kind of exertion. Palum, do your thing, man. I'm just going to stand here. Yeah, keep shooting arrows. I'm sure you could accomplish it. Oh, he took my gold? Bitch. Oh, that's upsetting. Wait, he steals loot? Oh, I don't like that at all. So this will allow me, if I wanted to make Crimson Ash, what do I need for that? I need Terrestrial Silt. Oh, it looks like maybe you can turn other elements. Like, basically, you can combine the elements that you don't want and the elements you do want. Okay. And so I'm assuming, like, the elements are, like, Cosmic, Aqua, maybe Forest, Celestial, Earth, 
and fire maybe I don't know what to play around with it that does 17 damage which is down from my sword usage is that the oh never mind I thought maybe the box filled up as you use the weapon to see if it leveled up or not but it does not appear to do so the game is pretty to look at I'll give it that much I love the way the little tiles fall into place although I mostly navigate by the map I'm used to playing roguelikes and like ASCII and stuff like that so I don't really worry about it but I do like having a graphical tile set it does make me happy there's a bunch of skellies in here, ain't there? Oh, that guy dropped a thingy. I want that over there. That allows me to shoot you with more fire. And my ability to make fire spheroidal is one of the main reasons why I became a wizard. I'm going to get over here and collect all this loot before he runs up on me and steals it from me because he does have a history. He's done it before. Oh, it takes you a turn to swap your weapon, too. Okay, that makes sense. He's not going to pick up the helmet, though, is he? I'm kind of bummed that the gear doesn't go on your character. Like, that seems like a major oversight. Like, it seems to me as though, like, your robes and your helmet and your boots and your gloves and that kind of stuff should change whenever you equip things. It, it might not be a big deal to some people, but it is a big deal to me. The helmet is just a cap. And so it gives us five defense. Are these boots better than the ones we have? Doubtful. Okay, well, let's head over here. We'll break open some crates and maybe we'll find, like, a magical key so we can open up some of those golden gilded chests. Yeah, there it is. Getting this job done. Dear Skeleton, I don't like you very much. If you walk over here, I am going to strike you. See, you didn't listen to my advice, and that dude just jacked my money. Man, he took my $7. We might not be friends anymore after this dungeon. We might not be on speaking terms. Might be on swearing terms. Ooh, what is that? Is it a kata? What is that? The Chakram of Dark Matter. It does 18 damage, but can I throw it? It seeks multiple targets. Well, we're going to throw a Chakram. It's about to be on. It's a laser... Oh my god, it's a laser predator disc. It's on. It's so on right now. Yeah! See, that's how we get the job done, Nerd Castle. That's how we get it done. So what's going on with this shield right here? A common kite shield. It's got 14 versus that, so it goes up a little bit. Block chance, it requires two finesse, but it's just... I guess I lose a stamina, but it does look cooler. So, there's something to be said about that factor. I mean, we all know that when we play RPGs, we tend to equip what looks coolest anyways. You can't be looking around... Like, you can't be running around looking like a broken Skittle bag, dude. Like an exploded bag of Skittles just all over the place. He took my elemental fire. How am I supposed to make my elemental mixtape, bro? It's tough out here. It's tough out here. I apologize. If you hear rumbling in the background, there's a thunderstorm going right now. It woke me up this morning. That's how loud it was. It was a pretty rowdy thunderstorm. It got pretty hectic for this area. All right, we get thunderstorms every now and again, but not like massive ones. This one was a thunderstorm of note. Ooh, there's a key. And a bow. I don't know if I want the bow. The chakram seems to be laying it down pretty well. If we could get a couple more magical chakrams, I think I'd be happy with it. Hello, Alistair. So my kitty has decided to join me. He's decided to be homies today and hang out. I will probably go like so. So can you move diagonally? Like, is that possible? Can I use my number key? No, you can't use the number key like roguelike style. Okay. I don't know. I don't like using the mouse. We got something. I mean, it looks like we got a little bit of gold. Wasn't really worth it. Should have got myself a different chest. See, I messed up. That chest was not the best, and it was weaker than the rest. It had no zest for being a chest, and so unfortunately, that made it less. I could do Dr. Seuss rhymes. I could do Dr. Seuss shit all day long. I think I still get the money, even though he picks it up. Cream, get the money. Goldy, goldy coins, y'all. Ugh. Why is it called a dollar bill? Like, why is it called, like, a bill? Was the guy that invented it named Bill? And he was just like, yeah, this flat piece of paper is going to be me for the rest of my life. This is what I want to be now. I self-identify as a flat piece of paper. And so you all now have to put up with it. Enjoy. Another scroll. Maybe this will lead you to even better treasure. You have survived your first test. This means you are ready for training. I have created a magical rift, a place hidden from our enemies. Go there. You'll find some help to improve your skills. I would teach you myself, but I must stay hidden. The council is watching me. No, not the council. What is that? Antarid is a secret town hidden from Hosperak. Who's Hosperak? Our greatest enemy. The reason why we're fighting the creatures here. So how does the orb fit in? 
And it opens this portal. That's how we keep our enemies out. Come on. Okay, you seem awfully well informed about this whole thing. Are we all just like minions to this guy? Like, how is this all working out? I swear to God, if I end up wearing overalls and something like banana, 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 this is not going to be a good day for you. I've got a chakram, remember. I've got a bladed disky thing that I can throw. And also, it plays music if you put it on a turntable. But I keep that on the DL because I don't want people borrowing my albums. Fun fact, it's a Limp Biscuit album. Just in case you were wondering. Last piece of music in the universe, and we're stuck with Limp Biscuit. Now, where am I? Where's Palum? Who are you? You're at the Antarid Inn. I'm Meryl, the owner. Great. Please tell me you have some food here. You battle your way through a dungeon, end up in a strange town, and all you can think about is your stomach? I haven't eaten in two days. Oh. Wow. You look well fed. How about you share? Here's a bowl of stew and some bread we just baked. Ah, that's better. Thanks. So what is this place? This is Antara, a secret area in Rilfanor, hidden from the Wizards Guild by magic. A wizard named Hosparak has taken over the Guild Council. He's breaking the laws of Rilfanor, stealing power from the six elemental realms. Without trading stone and metal for magical power, the boundaries between worlds are breaking down. Dangerous creatures are invading our world through magical portals, and Hosparak isn't stopping them. My goal is to gather an army in Antarit to stop Hosparak. We must close the dangerous rifts that he's opened and make peace with the elemental realms. I'll raise a wizard tower where you can learn more about magic. We'll talk again after you've visited it. You just did that all by yourself? Oh my god, that's amazing. I wish I could levitate big stone platforms full of wizard magic. Spend spell points here in the spell tree to acquire new spells and upgrade existing ones. Click to upgrade your new spell. I have one spell point. We can make this do 82 damage? Oh my god. Yeah, let's upgrade all the things. That seems like a pretty good investment. I have zero spell points. It looks like as we level up, perhaps we accumulate those. What happens when I go over here? Oh, I can click on this thing. Ooh. Amplifies damage from items and magic across damage types. Increases hit chance for blocking critical hits, disarming traps, and detecting secrets. And increases your health and your ability to absorb damage. I don't want to absorb damage at all. Absorbing damage takes it from my foe and makes it my problem. Like, that's absorbing. I, nah, I'm good. Um, let's go with, so that's just power, huh? I'm a little worried about traps and stuff. I wonder if we're going to be running sword and board the whole time, or if there's like two-handed claymores and other fun stuff to play around with. I legitimately have no idea. I don't know, glass cannon, let's do it. So we've got a wooden shield of vigor. That's quite a bit better than what we had. I'm going to equip that one. We've got a common bow, a common cap, the eye of Antarit, which I assume is the thing that allows us to manipulate the portals to arrive here. Meryl wants to speak with you. That house is talking. I, I know there's a lot of magic and weird stuff going on, but house is talking is where I drop the line. That's where I draw the line. I drop it there too. Just in case the fish are biting. What is that? Can I click it? It looks awesome. Welcome back. We need your help. Grandfather Scroll found you, and that means you have great power. You don't know how to use it fully, but you'll learn. So what do I do next? Visit the supply shop and prepare your shop and prepare your bag. When you're ready, come and talk to me. This is a vendor, and these are the items that they have for sale. Buy and sell items. Okay, yep. I know how this works. Probably don't want any of that stuff. They aren't worth as much as I'd hoped they'd be worth. However, they are worth something gonna take us a little bit of cash to grab onto some of the things we have going on apparently our chakram is worth a lot of money by comparison to everything else we just sold I will probably buy some crimson ash I oh you can only buy them in singles that's concerning all right well it looks like magic is gonna be in short supply then we got to be careful about using it it's Alnar greetings I am Alnar trader in general supply are you a bandlet too 
No, I'm Elam, a friend to Meryl and her grandfather. The danger of the Hosperak will affect us all, and my fellow Elam are fooling themselves if they don't see it. Alright then, thanks Doug. Hello again. Palom, what are you doing here? This is what I do in Antarit. You don't have to carry everything with you anymore, I'll keep it safe. So that's our bank space right here. Okay, cool, we've got a vault. Probably save that for items that we gotta level in order to use. Alright, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Remember, you're more powerful than you realize. So I can really do magic, huh? Yes, the Elam aren't the only ones with magical power anymore. My life is about to get a lot more complicated, isn't it? Saving the world is never easy. I'm an Elam. I could have stayed at my manor full of servants and lived in comfort. Instead, I'm here building this town. Well, I guess this is better than being a half-starved thief. If we defeat Hosperak, you're going to have a very good life. What do you say? I'm in. Where do I go? We found another rift in the fabric of the world. I'm hoping you'll find a scroll-bound friend of mine there. Destroy the rift and bring back my friend. Okay, I will consider doing that strongly. Oh, it's mandatory. Never mind. I shall take that quest because I have no choice. And the deus ex machina is strong. Destroy the rift and bring Meryl's friend to Antarit. All right. Cool. Travel to quest destinations using this portal. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay. We've got ourselves like a fully animated, I don't know, like a... I forget his name. Oh, man, that's going to bug me. Never mind. We've got like a fully animated map. That's all you need to think about. Dawn Bluth. There we go, map. We'll go right here. The Tomb of the Night Terrors. A place of bad dreams and also upsetness of tossing and turning and never sleeping. That's amazing and I enjoyed doing it. That is seriously one of my favorite things ever. I want to do that forever. Like I want to walk into every single room and just throw that at thousands of enemies. Are there any enemies in here? Bad guys. Huh. A weak Shadow Lord. Well, he's a dead Shadow Lord now. Yeah. How? They have ranged hand lasers? They got Force Lightning, bro. They didn't say I was going to be fighting Sith up in here. That's not fair. However, I am killing multiple things at the same time, which is super baller. The hell was that? Why am I fizzling? I don't like fizzling. Eh. Oh, man. The fizzling appears to hurt me at the top right-hand corner of the screen, too. It looks like we get a skill... Uh, I think we get a spell point every time that goes up. So I'll we'll be able to upgrade things better. We are getting our ass whooped right now. Probably should have invested in some HP. Might have been a smart plan. But I don't do the smart thing. I do the fun thing. Why are you trying to be so close to me right... Oh, so he can claw my face. Gotcha. I was going to say, it was slightly suspicious that he wanted his radius to be so close to mine. But I get it now. It all makes sense in retrospect. What is that? It's a battle thong. Oh, it's a ring of life. Okay. I just thought it was a ruby thong. We get 2 power, 22 extra health, 9 damage to fire, and then 8 more defense. That's pretty sweet. I'll take it. Alright, well, it looks like we're just about out of time for the day. So, anyways, this game is called Rogue Wizards. I'm enjoying it a lot. I played it a bit for a couple of days, but I wanted to make sure that, like, there was enough stuff still blind in the game to where you were still getting my legitimate reactions to, like, things that were happening instead of me just kind of blundering through and being like, alright, this is this, this is this, nothing confusing exists inside this game that I don't know about. You know, that's just, I, I wanted to make sure it was a little bit fresh at the bare minimum. We got a magic shirt right there. Oh, shit. I will see you all in the next episode of Rogue Wizards. We're probably going to be playing this one quite a lot. I, I hope you guys like it, because it may be around for a little while, because I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with it. It kind of reminds me of that roguelike game we played back in the day where you were in space and you had to, like, raise up pets and stuff like that. Can't remember what it was called, but Shattered World or something like that. Either way, I will see you all next time. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. My name is Splattercat. Bye-bye.